this will be 87 craft in this inventory here. So that means I can boost to make the Zenite necklace, I believe, which is best in slot for ranged. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'll have around 1,600 battle staffs to Alk. I think I'm going to try something a little different and go to Herbivore for the first time. Just want to build up my herb stack a little bit. Ah, just have, have some fun doing something different, you know? I have most of my herb lore and smithing goals banked. Not exactly sure how I'm going to get the rest of the herbs. I don't think I'm going to just wait around for kingdom. I'll need 85 herb lore and 84 smithing for Varok Elite. Quick disclaimer, my webcam mic turns on instead of my headset mic at a certain point, so about half the video is going to sound a little bit different. Okay, that is 82 Hunter. From 80 to 82, aside from the little bit of herbivore that I've just done, I've gotten that all from just like birdhouses on occasion. I don't really do as many as possible. Just when I remember, I'm trying to work through that stack of a thousand toad flax, so that's my main sort of motivation for it. But yep, I'm actually going to need some more hop seeds pretty soon. Damn. Got that to look forward to. A little bit of thieving to break things up. Won't be bad. This will be 83 Hunter. Look at that. 83. <laughs> it's a long time coming. I really do put off Hunter. It's not really my favorite thing to do. But. I think that means I can catch dragon implings if I so choose. Cool. And uh, yeah, just working on that herbivore count. I'm trying to stay strong and finish all my battle staffs here, but I'm really, uh, <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, anything hunter related, I'm just like, eh. I'm like, eh. Well, I believe I have 82 through 85 herbivore pretty comfortably banked now. I will have to make my Harlanders, about 1,100 Harlanders and Tatar, which is no problem, pretty chill. And this is all without having any wines of Zamorak, so if I did decide to snag a few of them, that would put me way over my uh, goal. Oh yeah, and I won't be collecting white berries either. So white berries and wine of Zamorak, that's excluding these herbs here, which is just fine with me. I'm only sticking to stuff that's real easy to collect, so I'll be getting some eggs, some snape grass, some fungus, and some scales. And once I collect those four items and make my tar, um, I'll be good to go. I went ahead and cleaned all those Harlanders. I had like a thousand to do. It only took a minute though. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna go spend a bunch of money on making these into unfinished potions and grinding these nests at that little boy. Oh yeah. I guess I probably could have waited till I collected all my blue dragon scales because I'll have to come back here to crush those too. I don't want to do that manually. Dang it! I want to finish Alkin the rest of these battle staves as well. I don't really feel like doing anything so I'm just I'm just gonna watch a show for 20 minutes and finish doing these. Hey, what do you want? Well this is the first time I've had a 20 million cash stack before. I'm pretty happy about that. Big time. It'll probably go into stuff like ore for smithing, but I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with it. I know it'll have a use sometime, but my construction level is pretty good right now. Like, I guess I could finish making my mahogany logs. I have like four or 5,000, I think, but making them into planks, but I can make the occult altar. I already have the ornate pool, so... Uh, another possibility would be like fletching or maybe if I start running out of runes like astral runes or something but I do have a lot of essence stocking back up from doing Zolra and stuff so no real big plans for it right now just gonna see uh, just gonna see what's up all right so I finished doing my tar and I was just so close to 83 I just did my little uh just did a couple potions so it's secondary time. I probably won't record level 84. I'm just going to collect all this shit for a couple hours, and I'll see you again with 85 Herblore. My friend is, I think, over 300 dry of an unsired over here, so I'm going to come try to give him some good luck. Hope oh, this brings some good tidings. Oh, here we are. Got to give him a little spin. Maybe a little raspberry. A belt tips. 666 scales.
Hail Satan. Herblore sure is a hoot. So this will be 85. And... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Bow! 85 herb. Nice. Uh, it looks good. Looks good to me. So, just going to go snag a smithing level real quick. I think I got it banked. Not exactly sure. Oh, I I better have it banked. Shoot. Shoot, man. Shoot. It'd be nice to have some darts. I straight up almost ran out of darts. Yeah, I have 700 Addy darts. That's nothing. Did I say I was going to get a smithing level real quick? Well, I decided to do it a really not quick way. I don't really need the alks that I would usually make um, from the plate bodies with steel and mithril bars, so I just put them all into dart tips. So I'll have like 25k steel darts, about 6k myth, around 8k addy, and it, it'll be a sizable amount of fletching XP. I know I'll at least get level 83 which isn't anything special, but 84, I believe, is Dragon Bolts. Still, I don't have a crossbow that can even shoot them, but really the total XP and the level, the, uh, you know, total level I'll get from it. I'm happy with that. I gotta get fletching sometime, so just gonna kinda work on that. Just, uh, such quick XP for fletching, it kinda makes up for how slow it is to make the darts. Eh. I just don't need the money, and I'm not going to sit there and smelt cannonballs with all these. I've been playing some games with friends, you know, so having this run in the back is not too bad. This will be 84 smithing, so I should be good to go with getting those boosts and getting that diary out of the way. Right on. What can I make? Oh, a two-handed sword. Cool. Alright, this is my master plan. I need to get a plus five boost to smithing to make these rune darts, make the darts and then fletch them. And I need a plus three boost to cooking, which is also the same spice here, the orange spice. So depending on which one I get first, I wanna be able to just run over to the cooking guild hopefully in time and get that if I need to. But the smithing one I think is, you know, of course a little more dire. So we'll see how we do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use the lunar is to bake a pie. I'm pretty sure it works. No, no way. I got it on the second one. I got it on the second one. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, that's enough cooking XP. Is it strawberry first? Yeah? Water. No. Okay. Can't eat a watermelon like that. Wait, what? Oh, I did. I did it. I filled the pie with the watermelon. I put an apple in the pie. I baked the pie. Oh, yeah, boy. All right, now I just need a plus five herb lore boost. I say just. Yes, okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, make them all. Yes. Did I do it? Yes. Sorry, my dryer's going. It might be a little loud, but... Ah, uh, yes. Okay, now now I don't have to boost anymore for Varrocoli. Okay. Then... Another task complete. I think all I have left to do is make some earth runes. Oh, yeah! Here it is! Alright. Congratulations, me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I feel so giddy when I get an elite diary done. This is elite diary number three. Let's go get that reward, sucker! Uh, I totally think I missed the clip of me. Grabbing the chest piece, but check that out. I look like a total dingus wearing this. I don't care though, that's awesome. So it's the Prospector chest piece. Gives me some bonuses over at Edgeville Furnace. Gives me a little bonus when mining. Chance to get extra ore. And big thing is 50k herb XP. Booyah! Booyah! Good shot. I just sold my Prospector chest back to the shop. I actually wasn't sure quite sure if I could do it, but I thought maybe I could. And in doing so, I now have enough golden nuggets to... Here, give me, give me, give me, give me. What else can I unlock here? The big sack, big sack, big sack. I got a big sack.
Sweet. All right, so I unlocked the big sack. I unlocked this a while ago, up there. So now all I can do is buy... I have the coal bag. I don't... Yeah, no, I do have the gem bag. So I guess I buy soft clay and bag full of gems. How much do these even cost? 10 and 40? How many do you get in the soft clay pack? I guess I really didn't need to do that at all. But who gives a crap now because... Oh, uh, yeah. Who gives a crap? <laughs> so I got all the unlocks. Hell yeah, boy! Okay, and I pretty much immediately got the thieving boost. Hopefully get this in like less than two minutes. Hopefully this is one that I can... Okay, can I even pickpocket her? What the heck, man? Three times in a row? Okay, there it is. Dang. How much? 300 coins, man. I doubt this is like good to do, but... Whatever. Alright, cool. Let's go back and get that agility boost. Just give me a plus, plus four agility. Yes! Oh, I got a whole plus five. What about that? Cool. Awesome. Now all I gotta do is kill some chompy chomps. Some chompy bears. Meow, meow, meow. So I decided to set a timer for an hour and try to just go ham on it. And I'm sure I could be doing this a little more efficiently. I managed to get about 215 chompy bird kills in one hour. Seems decent to me. Really, it's just, eh, you know, a handful of hours to get this thing done. On one hand is... Kind of lame spending four hours killing chompy birds, but I mean, if you split this up, like, got your free ogre arrows every day from the hard diary or something, like, you could do this easy, you know, over time. But really, once you get a thousand, you're done. And then you got another elite diary done. I don't think I'm going to come back here for the, for the pet, although the pet is pretty cool. And it's essentially like, I think it's really pretty easy to get compared to a lot of other pets, but yeah, I probably won't be coming back here. I'm not too pet crazy. If I do get a pet, I'd like it to be something cool, like a boss pet. Like a, like, or I don't know. All the pets are pretty awesome, to be honest with you, but I don't want to specifically farm for one. <laughs> but, uh, okay, what are we at? So what, like two, oh, 850? Okay, we'll be there in no time. We'll be there in no time. We need one more chompy. I'm calling you a chopper, chopper, chopper. I managed to not run out of arrows. I had almost 300 of these adamant brutal, and aside from that, I just went and picked up the 100 crappy arrows from Rance before I started. So. Really didn't use as many that many arrows. I'm so glad I didn't have to do that. Really? Really? How where's my where's my last bird, man? There he is. You're the one. You're the one. Wow. Is that it? I think that was it though. I'm an over expert! Oh, this is it. Alright, this is my f this Ugh. Do I have to go talk to Rance? How do I claim my reward? Oh man. Oh, I gotta claim the hat. God damn it. Alright, I think I talked to Rance. No, I want a hat, bro. No thanks. I wanna buy I wanna get the hat, man. Free hats. Oh no. Oh my god, I didn't realize I needed to show him the bow to get the hat and that I needed the hat to finish the diary so I dropped it in like a fit of extreme extremeness okay cool I was like if I if the, all my kills were on that bow that I dropped which is not there anymore I checked I want a hat ah oh, dang it I'm talking and I'm not talking to him how I need to be talking to him I'm talking to you, and I'm not talking to him. Give me the hat! Oh my god, I don't know his hats! Ah. This is a hat. This is a hat. I don't want all this, though. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. 
Get off the way with that chomping bird hat. Aw oh, yeah. And they talk to this gnome, old gnome boy. I completed all the lead tasks. I don't even know what the rewards are. Something about Zora and something else. Mm. Teleport. Where does it take me? Oh, hey -o. Cool. Look at me. Look where I am now. That's pretty close to a bank, to be honest with you. Mm, I'm not going to use that for that, but... Oh, I like it. Here, let's put this in herb lore. Yeah, boy! Mmm, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot of XP in herb lore just from those two diaries done. <laughs> so, I look a little silly. I'm getting there. It's my first time buying the Varrock 4 reward from the shop here. 840k. That's some nuts. That's nuts right there. I think they alk for a profit of 2300 each. Yeah, we're looking at almost 300k profit from that. You know, not counting all the time it takes to craft the things, but you know, I'm I'm solid with it. Okay, this is a game plan. I'm going to thieve some hop seeds from Master Farmer. I might just stay until I get 83 smithing cuz I think that's less than 2 hours at Master Farmer, and then I will do herbivore while fletching these darts and also be able to do birdhouse runs again all right coming in with 83 thieving almost said farming nice 83 thieving so i just wanted to wrap that level up so let me check these out no not hey don't go <laughs> what are you yelling at what are you meow uh... Well, I feel pretty happy with the seed haul I had here. 16 Renar seeds, 24 more Toad Flax, 10 Snapdragon. Now with the Cactus Spine update, I wanted to snag a couple seeds. I don't think I need very many, but I don't think I've been picking them up at all. So, but uh, what do we got here? We got like 60 Birdhouse runs there. That's pretty, pretty solid. Um, 60 to 70 there. Hell yeah. Went and planted five magic seeds, and <laughs> there were a couple plants for me to check on the way. And then I was thinking, oh yeah, when I was doing those western tests, I planted one over here, or uh, planted a palm tree over here. So I think this is actually the level I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, boy. I, I don't like farming. Oh, I just don't like it. I'm, I'm sorry, world. I just don't like farming. This will be 83 fletching? 82? 84. 83 fletching? Alright, <laughs> what is it? 83, okay. <laughs> I don't think there is anything too special there. I believe 84 is Dragon Bolts. Look at all those beautiful darts. Oh, yeah. This will be 84 Hunter. Cool. Yeah. Since I finished those darts, I just wanted to wrap that up here. Very nice. Yo, I've gotten a handful of levels today. I'm less than 100k from a fletching level, so I'm probably going to go ahead and rock that out as well. 84 fletching while I'm chilling like a boss. Figured I could cut up some U logs that I had just laying around. Had a couple thousand of them. Just wanted to burn through them real quick. I think I'm going to go back to fishing while I'm not really paying attention, you know? So, look at that, 84. Sweet. Dragon bolts, I do believe. Sweet. Oh man, it is storming over here. Hopefully we get a little thunder blast for y'all to hear. It probably won't be able to, but this is 93 cooking. <clears throat> just doing random stuff to, you know, just get some levels, man. <laughs> it's just, they're just coming. They're just coming left and right. They're just, these levels just keep coming. I'm going to have to call the video here, guys. I'm pushing 20 minutes. That's a long time, man. It's a long time. So episode 12, I've gotten 13 total levels and completed two elite diaries. Just amazing. I really didn't think I'd get all that much done. Oh yeah, I broke a 20 mil cash stack, even though that's changed by now already. Thank you so much for watching. I had a good mix of AFK with a little more intensive stuff, and the results really are just, just real pleasing. I'll see you in another week or so. Have fun scaping, guys. Catch you again soon.